a flourishing coral reef, an abundant kelp forest, and a healthy savanna grassland. These are all caused by different organisms called keystone species. Keystone species are known to hold the balance of an entire ecosystem. Without them, an ecosystem will have a hard time adapting. If these species disappear, other species connected to them will also disappear, causing an entire ecosystem to collapse. Coral reefs, a home to many coastal organisms, thrive because of a keystone species that maintains its balance and health. Sharks, although they are predators, keep the balance of the reef community. Sharks feed on small fishes who feed on smaller grazing fish. Those grazing fish feed on algae that might overgrow the corals. But if they disappear, there will be more predatory fish and there will be less grazing fish that will feed on algae that grows on coral reefs. Overpopulation of algae eventually kills the coral reefs. The disappearance of sharks would also mean the disappearance of coral reef community. And you know, the population of the reef sharks are constantly decreasing because of human practices to kill them for their fins. Sad, isn't it? A kelp forest, just like the terrestrial forest you often see, provides food and shelter to many organisms. Chilling on top of these are sea otters. Sea otters may look vulnerable for their adorable way of grooming themselves, but they hold a vital part in maintaining the balance of the kelp forest. Sea otters' favorite meal are sea urchins. Sea urchins, on the other hand, feed on the stems of the kelps. If sea otters disappear, there will be no one to feed on the sea urchins, causing them to overpopulate. Many sea urchins will graze on kelps. If kelps are gone, there will be no more food and shelter for other organisms as well, causing the ecosystem to die. Before, sea otters were endangered, but thanks to policies to protect them, they can chill as long as they want while feasting the sea urchin and keeping the kelp forest healthy at the same time. We would think that predators are the only keystone species, but let's take a look at this savanna grassland. A savanna is a home to a large number of species such as the African elephant. With its large size, they uproot trees and eat the saplings, preventing the overpopulation of woodlands. This means that there will be more grasses for the herbivores to feed on. If the herbivores have a lot to eat, their predators would also have a lot to eat, thanks to the elephants. However, Poaching and illegal ivory trades are posing threats to these elephants. And if this continues, what do you think will happen to the savanna grasslands? Other examples of keystone species are snowshoe hare, gray wolves, hummingbirds, grizzly bears, purple sea stars, and fig trees. These species may be large or small but they always play a big role in maintaining a healthy and balanced community. You see, the protection and preservation of these species depend on us humans. So the question is, are we keystone species?